I started with a story of my dad, I'll end with one. We're, I'm eight years old, we're skiing Heavenly Valley, and uh, it was the first time I skied by myself. And now Heavenly Valley, they had the Olympics there, right? And they have this last run, it's called Gun Barrel, and it's big double black diamond, and I wasn't supposed to end up there, but I did, and I had to get down. So I'm like, man, I, I don't want to lose my streak. You know, I didn't fall down one time, so I just, I went down really tentative. It took me a long ass time, but I finally got to the bottom. I saw my dad and ran up to him and said, Dad, 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 guess what? I skied by myself all day long and I didn't fall down one time. And he said, well, and he didn't get any better. He said, look, until you push yourself beyond your current skill level, until you fall down, you can't get any better. Falling is part of the process of growing. Failure is part of the process of success. And we had painted on our garage wall these words, no pain, no gain. And I've lived by that mantra. And somebody says, if there's one mantra you would attribute your success to, this is it. No pain, no gain. It's kind of like at the gym. Your program calls for 10 reps. And you do the 10 reps, and the last 10, you start experiencing pain. Well, now it's the two, three, or four that you do after that that the growth begins. The first 10 just got you to the table. Those were table stakes. It's what you do after you experience the pain that determines the growth that you get.